All right. For math one, find the missing terms. And we're dealing with arithmetic sequences right now. So we are going to have to look at some things in a little bit of a different, different perspective. So number one, we're supposed to find that missing term that's in the middle. So we have negative 30, and then blank, and then 30. And I think in our heads, we can kind of intuitively say, well, this is going to be 0. We could say, well, the, the d here is going to be 30, right? Each time we're adding 30. But let's see how we could do this systematically if we did not know, if we did not know how to do this. Well, if we had negative 30, that's our first term. Let me erase this stuff here so that I can. We would say plus d, and then we'd get this guy, and then we'd say plus d again, and we'd have 30. So negative 30 plus d plus d would be 30, right? Because this, this here would give us the blank term. And then plus this guy gives us the, the new term. So we could solve this and say, well, negative 30 plus 2d is 30. 2d is 60. So d is 30. And then we can say, well, let's take our negative 30 plus 30 gives me 0. So there's a systematic way for us how to do it, and our answer here is, is zero. Let's look at number two and see how we could do it there. So same way, we're going to set up something like what the highlighted portion there is. We're going to say, well, we've got negative two, and then we're going to plus D, and we get this guy, and then plus another D, and we get negative 18. So we could say negative two plus D plus d equals negative 18. So this is the same thing as a negative 2 plus 2d equals negative 18, which is the same thing as 2d equals, what's that going to be? It's negative 16, 6, 7, 8, yeah. And then d equals negative 8. So to finish up, we take our negative 2 plus d which is negative 2 minus 8, which gives me negative 10. So in my blank, I put a negative 10. All right, number 3. I'm going to take, here's a plus d, here's another plus d, because we have one blank in the middle of there. So we have negative 22 plus d plus d equals negative 42. So I've got negative 22 plus 2d equals negative 42. If I add my 22 over to the other side, I get 2d equals, well, what's that going to be? Is that negative 20? I think that is negative 20. And then I divide by 2 and d equals negative 10. So to finish up, we take negative 22, our first term, and we add our difference. So negative 22 minus 10 gives me negative 33. All right, number four. So we're going to add D here. We add another D. So to find this middle guy, we're going to take 16. Plus, and I'm going to combine like terms in my head here. I'm going to have 2d equals 56. So this is 2d equals, if I subtract out, I get, is that 40? I think that's 40. And then d equals 20. So 16 plus 20 equals 36. Another way to think about this, and this is what we're doing in the long form algebra, is just find the average. If you were to find the average of these, you'd say 16 plus 56 over 2, right? That's how you find average. This would be 70, 72, 50, 60, 72 over 2, 
which gives us 36. And I understand that that might be a slightly easier way to do it, um, but whenever we get to geometric sequences, um, this way over here will help us get ready to do that because you can't just find the straight out average for, for geometric sequences. And also, if we end up having more than one blank, because sometimes we're going to have two blanks here that we have to find, then it'll be much easier to do the, the way that I have on the left compared to the, um, I don't know, you could call it the easier way. Okay, But I want you to know that that is a way that you can do it. You can just find the average of the two numbers. Whenever you have an arithmetic sequence with one blank, you can just do the average. All right, number five. So here we have one blank, so we're going to have a plus D here, and plus D here, so we're going to have 6 plus 2D is negative 14, so 2D is negative 20, D is negative 10. So 6 minus 10 is negative 4, ooh, is that negative 4? Yeah, negative 4. And our, that's our answer. Number six, plus D, plus D, so 40, plus 2D is 80, 2D is 40, D is 20, so 40 plus 20 is 60, and that's our answer. Number seven. Plus D there, plus D there. And the reason that I'm adding these Ds in each time is that whenever we have three blanks, it just makes it a lot easier to make that transition, okay? So I think it is useful to write that there. I think it's useful to think about how many blanks do we have and um, how many times we're gonna have to be adding that difference. So, so 24 plus, and here I have two Ds. So 2D is 224. So 2D, if I subtract my 24, I get 200. Divide by 2 and D is a hondo. So we have 24 plus 100 is 1, 2, 4. And that's our answer. All right, number 8, last one. Here again, we'd have plus D and plus D. So you have 9 plus 2d is negative 1, 2d is, what would that be, negative 10, so d is negative 5, so I'm going to have 9 minus 5 is, that's 4, right, yeah, 4, and that's it. So just to review, the way that we do these problems is you set it up as if you were well, let's, let's look back up at the top. You take your first term, and then you add in the Ds. So here we have a plus D here, a plus D here. You kind of have to think in your head, how many times would I add the common difference? Okay? All right. That's it.